Recording in. Hello, hello, everyone. Tashina Lynette here, your favorite holistic business coach. And I put together this presentation just to give a brief overview because I know there are so many people in my world who have had surgeries at the age that we are at right now, um, women that have hormone issues. And so I put this presentation together. I gave it, but there was a little bit of distractions when I gave it in a group and I wanted to have a recording to share with everybody that may need it. So if someone has shared this video with you and you don't know who I am, I am a very busy automotive professional. I work in facilities management, and I'm also the housekeeping subject matter expert driving autonomous solutions, smart housekeeping, innovation and technology throughout our facilities. Um, I travel for work to go to some different facilities as well as the conferences to look for that technology. I also have so many certifications. Um, so I refer to myself as a holistic wellness, self-development coach, I'm also an author and a speaker, a mindfulness leader, a poet, and lots of other things. Usually on a weekly basis, I have some type of presentation that I'm doing on my own in English and Spanish for free, just to create as many resources for people as I can. Um, I have clients from Fortune 100 companies down to individual small businesses and down to even um, college students. So I use all of these skills. I, help, I tell people I help individuals go from chaos to clarity, helping them be more productive, reach financial and occupational wellness without getting burnt out and keeping their emotional, mental, and physical and social wellness intact at the same time. So this is my story of what I went through starting in May and how I recovered emotionally and physically from a car accident and from surgery. So here are my daily minimums, what I do on a daily basis to keep me energetic and full of nutrients. So no surprise, um, I'm certified in nutrition and I suggest for everyone to take the Vital Insights food scan that we have, it uses a voice technology in order to tell your body ex exactly what it needs in order to recover as well as stay well when it comes to foods, but also when it comes to supplements. So that's the first step. Make sure that you're eating well first. But these are the supplements that I take. So Nisha Red, our red juice. I've been talking about this so much because they've done so many clinical studies proving what we have, that have been taking it on a regular basis already knew that it helps with energy levels. It helps with your mood. It helps with sleep. It reduces inflammation in your body. It is a high antioxidant red juice infused with energizing essential oils. It has, the basis of it is the Ninja Wolfberry which is basically the Chinese version of goji berry. It is the highest antioxidant berry on the planet. Lots of other berries in it. I also make sure that I have on hand mine wise. The star of this show is Sacha Inchi Nut and it is high in omegas and CoQ10. I actually am allergic to tree nuts, all seafood and fish. So I have to supplement my omegas on a regular basis. We also take our Ninja Nitro. That has um, B12. It has some natural car caffeine in it. D-ribose. It has all these amazing things that I usually take actually a, on an individual basis because I've been addicted to vitamins and herbs for as long as I can actually remember. I also take Indoflex Vitality, which is perfect for supporting your endocrine system. Obviously, as a person who um, was having a little bit of things going on with my uh, hormones, supporting my endocrine system was super important. And then I take Brigamot Vitality. So I actually I'll take all of these together. Um, one other honorable mention that I didn't put on here is mineral essence, making sure your mineral levels are good. I usually do have that and mix all of this together. And it's what I take one of the first things in the morning. On top of that, I take multigreens, which is 
a green food, nutrient dense supplement that is energizing. Um, it frequently is on my skin. When I don't take it, I feel it. Power dyes are herbs that are known for giving stamina, endurance, and energizing as well. This actually was formulated for men, but my body, it comes on my skin and tells me that I need this one if I'm not taking it. So for whatever reason, what's in it, it's good for me. Super B, it's a multi-B complex with just about all the B vitamins, not just B12, but your pathophytonic acid, your niacin, your B6, all of those things as well. And that's just great for mood support. It's been recommended by my doctor that I take that. Super C and super D because they're so important for our immune system, especially with everything that we've gone through in the past two and a half years. Um, my doctor said that I should be on super D and I should be doing more than a normal doses of it. I've shown up as D, vitamin D deficient. And most people in the North, especially dark skin people in the North are vitamin D deficient. Again, so important for our immune system. Definitely need to have this on deck. And then my doctor also recommends that everyone, everyone, everyone take a high quality multivitamin. And I go between our sleek, which is part of our weight management line, but also energizing and has a little bit of natural caffeine in it. And our master formula, which just has so many amazing things in it. It's um actually four different capsules and tablets. And just, yeah, super multi-nutrient, multi-vitamin. Then um, currently, because I need um, a lot of detoxing in my body um, with the things that I was going on, right? I take our sleek essence and water, citrus oils and water. And because I am so, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Vigilant about making sure that my skincare and hair care and all of those things are toxic free. I make sure that I use all of the skincare products from Young Living. I used to only could use Dove soap. I would react to things. I was a Bath and Body Works junkie, but I, through research, I found out all those things were very detrimental to, to our endocrine system, to our hormones. On my body, because in the past I used to have uh, skin issues, I was diagnosed with eczema, no longer. I rotate our massage oils. The massage oils are what work best for me from Young Living. I love those keeping my skin soft. And then for my mood on an everyday basis, my favorites are the blends, essential oil blends of joy and abundance. Those are usually the last things that I put on when I leave. Now I travel for work, as I mentioned, I travel for my business, um, doing speaking engagements or networking events or doing marketing support for certain events in other states. Within six months after, you know, the world shut down in March, 2020, October, 2020, I was traveling for work again. Ones that I must have, Inner Defense, it has our Thieves blend in it, along with oregano essential oil. Please Google and look those up of why those are so important to your immune system. Comfort Tone, which makes sure that it pushes things out of our digestive system and keeps it clear and moving correctly. When I'm traveling, I must have those. On top of that, I made sure that I also had monthly aroma freedom technique sessions. So aroma freedom technique has been one of the best trauma recovery techniques that I had ever experienced for connecting some of my um, behavior that I need to, to set goals, just, just first of all, but also correcting some behavioral patterns that I was not understanding why I could not break on my own, connecting them to things that were still unresolved in my childhood, clearing those out and being able to move forward. There literally is nothing on the planet that I've done that has been as effective as aroma freedom techniques. Um, I have a video on how to do the aroma reset, which is something you should do on a daily basis just to keep yourself emotionally regulated. But this technique was developed by a psychotherapist who was in the industry for 20 years. And he knows all of the techniques, EFT, EMDR, NET. For those of you that aren't in that world, you probably don't know what anything of these things are, but you can feel free to Google these psychotherapy techniques. Like there's so many lists. There's like 10 different ones. 
And so taking that knowledge and studying the chemical properties and the results of using essential oils, he developed this technique to use them in an intentional, concentrated way that reprograms your subconscious mind using neuroscience. And so I cannot go without my monthly AFT sessions. And then if I have something come up, then I will get extra. Um, and when I started doing these, probably almost like a year and a half ago, I was doing them weekly for a while. And then I do weekly mindfulness sessions. Again, I'm certified in mindfulness. I run different, uh, I incorporate them in some of my workshops when I'm working with busy professionals. Um, I do, I, I was taking a break, but usually I do audios on Twitter. I have them loaded up into a podcast form where you can re-listen to them. So um, that is what I do for my emotional wellness to make sure that I stay emotionally well with how busy my life is. All of these things give me brain clarity. They make sure that there's minimal inflammation in my body. They give me energy. They're just, these are the things that I must have in order to function on a minimal basis. So on May 10th of this year, I was rear-ended unexpectedly, of course. Um, thankfully, I had no major damage. So I can be extremely grateful for that. I had no crushed disc or herniated disc. I had nothing major happen. You can see my car there. I was hit by something that was like a four tour. So it was lower than mine. It didn't have any major damage to my car because mine sat up higher and I was able to drive it until they were able to fix it. So that was great. But um, my diagnosis, I drove myself to urgent care. I was disoriented when I did that. Um, so they sent me to the emergency room. I was diagnosed with a mild concussion. They told me to not work the rest of the week. This happened on a Tuesday. I also was diagnosed with a hiatal hernia, which is very common um, when you get a little bit of whiplash. My um, airbag did not deploy. I was prescribed Tylenol 1000. So if anyone is in any type of accident, my recommendations is for you to consult with your doctor and get with your primary care physician, which I did. Definitely up your water intake. Also, again, this is a great time to rerun your Zyto Insights and, and see what your body is saying that it needs. Um, the things that I was increasing in my body were collagen. We have a supplement called Agile Ease, which is helps with agility in the body, which is what I needed. Um, vitamin C, vitamin A, calcium, and zinc. So I believe I was taking um, a supplement called MegaCal at the time as well, or possibly our Calcium Plus. But again, these are things that if you were just to Google natural ways to, <laughs> to, to reduce these things and deal with, with an accident, there are things that are come up. Um, I also was taking golden turmeric. So this is to reduce inflammation help immune response, joint health, mobility, and recovery after physical exertion. It is 24 times more bioavailable than standard turmeric extract. Your body absorbs the same amount of curcuminoids from just 300 milligrams of golden turmeric as it does from 1,926 milligrams of standard turmeric. And it also contains prebiotics to support healthy digestion as well as the gut brain access. So, um, thankfully I already had this on hand. I think it may, I may have gotten it free, So I started taking that. I've been taking it regularly ever since. Amino wise I also had on hand and it enhances muscle performance, reduces fatigue, supports muscles during and after exercise using a triple targeted formula that features branch change amino acids, premium essential oils, antioxidants, and minerals. And then agile ease that I mentioned, it has that collagen. It has a little bit of calcium. It has some additional turmeric in it. It promotes joint health by supporting healthy cartilage, joint flexibility, mobility, the body's healthy response to inflammation after exercise. Um, I also used for relaxation and just different things for my body, Panaway, Valor, and then our CBD muscle rub for my muscles. Um, my car insurance goes, I, I went was able to go to Henry Ford Medical here in the state of Michigan, and they have integrative medicine. So I was told to go to physical therapy for at least eight weeks. Um, and there they actually allowed me to also have acupuncture and massage. 
um, during physical therapy, they gave me hot and cold therapy. And I did hot and cold therapy at home. I also had a TENS machine that I would use for some muscle relaxation as well. So when I went to the doctor again, they do whatever your doctor recommends, right? Um, they prescribed me the Tylenol 1000. In the past, my doctor has preferred that I not use um, Tylenol or things like that because in the past I've had gut issues, issues with ulcers, issues where I took Excedrin every day for several days on end. So I chose not to take Tylenol and use these. When I spoke, when I did my follow-up with the doctor who happened to be, my doctor was out, so I saw another doctor. I explained to him that I was going to use amino acids, turmeric, and different supporting things for my body rather than use um, Tylenol. He said that was okay. And then just for those that don't know, TEN stands for transcutaneous electron nerve stimulation. So it's it's a mild electrical current on a little machine with a pad that you put with sticky pads, electrodes on your body. Now I have a 20 minute video that goes in even more detail about this. So I'd love for you to watch that 20 minute video on how to recover from an accident. So this accident was unexpected, <laughs> but the surgery, the laparoscopic myomectomy, which is removing fibroids, myomas is another word for fibroids, was expected. Um, it was in the works almost probably for a year, but with my busy schedule, with me trying to balance things out, with me trying to get relief, um, it, this was the date that was chosen. Now, this is my second time experiencing fibroids. The first time that I had fibroids was between um, 2000, the summer of 2013 through a surgery that I had in March of 2015. And I suffered greatly through those fibroids because at the time I had no natural solutions. I had an um, even more minor version of this surgery where they actually just was able to remove them through my um, vagina. And that surgery usually is only two to four weeks of recovery. But by the time I went into that surgery, I was a couple months before I was severely anemic. I had extreme mood issues. I was bleeding usually 25 days out of the month. Um, and I was just absolutely miserable. I, it really was one of the main drivers of why I got into this holistic lifestyle. And I ended up getting some support and in, into the holistic lifestyle around the end of January before that surgery. And I was so thankful for that because I found solutions like Ninja Red and another um, liquid supplement that you can get at any food store health food store, including Whole Foods called Floretics, that really helped my iron levels. And um, I really had such a better time, at least through the surgery. And I was so grateful and thankful. I also, you know, for my mood, was I was napping underneath my diffuser with my joy in it. It was just, it was just so, I was so grateful that that happened before. But for the <laughs> years up into, I suffered, suffered, suffered. This time around, what happened as part of my story is in January of 2020, I felt that something was wrong with my cycle. I'm like, it seems just a little bit heavy. Went to my doctor, my primary care physician, and told her, and she said, well, are you having issues? Are you, are you, are you got in pain? You, because, because I had pain before. And I was like, no, but I just can tell something is off. And she's like, I'll come back when it's an issue. And I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. That was horrible last time. So I tried to get into functional medicine, but then March 2020 hit. I wasn't a priority. I didn't get into functional medicine until October. Did a whole bunch of tests. This time I was leaning keto. I was all around just when they looked inside, they said my hormone pathways were wrong. I was pre-diabetic. There was all this stuff going on. Um, 
they told me to go vegan. <laughs> my hemoglobin went down to 7.1 when I went to my doctor the following year, January of 2021. She didn't know how I was even standing up, but apparently with all my knowledge of holistic things, I was just compensating, right? This is why it's so important to work with your primary care physician. It's always a balance. Um, so I started no longer eating keto or vegan at because the hematologist told me I needed meat. I had to have an iron infusion. I went back to using Ninja Red and Fluoretic. And I started using the Zyto Insight and that got me where I needed to be in four months. And that is why I so, so recommend it to everyone because it lit it. I was no longer pre-diabetic. I, my hemoglobin just stayed normal. My iron was amazing. Um, and you can actually sort it for however you want to eat. If you want to continue to eat vegetarian, by all means, if keto is the best way for you, you can actually sort it for that and still know what your body needs of all the healthy things, which ones will give you the most nutrients, which ones you should eat less of because it's not giving you as much nutrients. Sorry for all of that, but <laughs> I can't just stay on the screen for so long, but I thought it was important to tell you the story. So here we are. Um, knowing in around May, 2021, I'm going to try to have this surgery. I'm trying to do all of the natural things. I'm with my knowledge of herbs. I'm buying all these herbs. I'm doing all these things and I don't have pain. I don't have mood issues. I am thriving through fibroids, but my excessive bleeding is getting worse and worse. I'm able to manage thankfully, and not become anemic, even though I'm excessively bleeding. And that just continues to get worse and worse. And so my uh, gynecologist is like, it's the location, it's right here. There's one that's as big as an orange. But the best thing to do is remove it. So I decided to have them removed. Um, Again, there were, there were actually certain things that I was doing to, to minimize and certain things worked. And if you want details of that, um, as I have in the second to last point, I did utilize some things if and when I got a, felt I had got a little bit of pain, such as cool zone pain relief cream. Um, and there were, I would rub cell light magic with certain things like frankincense, oregano, pine, lavender, geranium, bellerin, endoflex on my belly for some soothing. And, and some, there's a couple other ways that I use them. But if you want more details, feel free to message me and hit me up. So I have this surgery scheduled. Two and a half weeks after I've had an accident. So I have a sore back. It's a minimum, it's considered a minimally invasive surgery, surgery, but most likely because I was I had a stressful night before, I didn't really sleep. And because I had a recovering body, it actually took me about four hours to come out of anesthesia. Um, and there's also an extra risk because I'm one of Jehovah's witnesses. And so I don't take blood transfusions. So they had to have what was called a cell saver on hand in case of excessive bleeding. Thankfully that was not used. I didn't need it. Um, what I was prescribed was naloxone, which is a drug for respiratory, ibuprofen 600 and oxycodone, which is a narcotic for pain. And then one other thing in case I overdosed on the oxycodone. Again, um, for at least a year before, I was making sure that I was taking my Ninja Red and Fluoretics, extra Ninja Red if and when necessary, because it makes everything more bioavailable. I've told that story previously of how my iron level shot up when I started using Ninja Red in other classes. If you want to see that, feel free to message me for that. And then there was just some practical things that I did that the hospital told me that I needed to do. And you can find a detailed 15 plus video on that under how to prepare for surgery video. I'd love for you to check that one out. Again, I, in order to make sure that everything that was where that I needed to be, had the right omegas in my body, had some soothing things for what I was going through, especially when it was my time of the month, I utilized in a reference guide, these things that came up there that I previously mentioned. And so once I was out of surgery, what I would need is lots of abdominal and gut support, additional hormone support, respiratory support, and skin support. And I did a an update one and a half weeks after surgery. And again, 
I would love for you to watch that video. All of those videos are going to give you more details and they're 15 minutes plus long. So what did I do to give myself those the support that I needed? So one of the things that I did, which was not planned, was fasting. There were a couple of days where I was like, I don't have an appetite. And this has actually happened to me probably about three times now. So I just listened to my body. And then thereafter, of course, I ran my Zyto Insights food scan and ate what my body wanted. And it was very interesting. Like I, I totally listened to my body because there was times where I could tell my body was like, oh, it wants some carbs. It wanted really heavy things. Like it wanted some, some like meat and potatoes. And it's like, my body needs something to like break down and to rebuild right now for what I'm going through. Some things that I used for, for calming and can, that can be supportive for women were geranium, progestins plus, and of course I continued with my endoflex vitality. The things that I used for respiratory support, so they actually gave me a breathing machine plus, again, I had that medicine that they recommended to me. I chose to use these chest rub, these vitality, which is for respiratory and immune support as well as RC and Raven in my diffusers and if necessary on my chest for additional soothing. Immune support, Copaiba Vitality and Frankincense Vitality for overall immune support. Abdominal support, GLF Vitality, which also did come up on my scan. That stands for gallbladder liver flush. Essential Zymes 4, which is digestive enzymes, and I've continued to use those regularly as well. For soothing my skin support, so I actually have five incisions in my in my stomach. So there's one in my belly button. I believe that's where they took the fibroid out. They, again, they took out a fibroid that was the size of an orange. They then also took out nine other fibroids. I have an incision at my belly button. Then I have two on the sides, like right directly on the sides, probably, I don't know, maybe six inches to the left and six inches to, to the right. And then I have two of above my belly button, one of which is completely gone. The other ones are not yet gone. <laughs> um, but the one above my belly button is, well, it's, it's still to the side, right? So it'd be like diagonally, maybe three inches above on the left-hand side right now. So that is what I, that is where I'm supporting my skin, making sure that it's smooth and putting some support there. And um, two and a half, I did a two and a half week update, which I'd love for you to view as well. And I did that from Salt Lake City. So um, I also needed lots of emotional support. There was, I remember probably three days after my, well, my surgery happened Friday of Memorial Day weekend, the unofficial start of summer. Um, I, friends were messaging me. That they were in town from other states. Um, everyone was outside doing stuff. And so I, by Tuesday, Wednesday, I was, I'm such an extroverted, gregarious person. I was, I was getting depressed. I was like, I want to be out. I want to be enjoying things. I want to be doing things. Um, and I think Tuesday, um, a friend from my place of worship from my kingdom hall messaged me and asked how I was doing. And I think my stepmom messaged me. And that day I said, you know what? My, my pain level is probably like a six or a seven, but my emotional pain level right now is an eight. You, and so they told me they were praying for me. My my family ended up, they all sent me some gifts and stuff. So that was just really important for my emotional support. Mindfulness sessions throughout, right before surgery, I had some amazing other friends that I'm in a network with that did a healing mindfulness session for me, um, plugging into other things. And then throughout afterwards, again, will not be without my monthly Aroma Freedom Technique session. Continued with my joy and abundance and also added on some trauma life because accidents as well as surgery are traumatic. And this is me on stage 5.5 weeks after an accident and three weeks after abdominal surgery. Now, I was definitely not at 100%. 
I absolutely talked to my gynecologist one and a half week after I had a scheduled surgery. She was like, everything's going good. You got no infections. You're amazing. Um, how long do you want to be off of work? She would approve me to be off work for six weeks. I chose only to be off work for three. And she gave me a letter so that I was ADA. So I had like a disability clause. So if at any point in time, I felt like I couldn't stand in line long enough or I had lost my energy because um, Salt Lake City actually is high elevation. It can mess with my respiratory system because I was diagnosed in the past with asthma. You know, I could I could pull the trigger and I could, you know, ask to be in a wheelchair for a bit or a mobile scooter. So I had the ADA tag. I was operating probably at this point in time at about 60%, which was really hard for me. But um, she gave me the okay to travel. I had medical permission that I was well enough at one and a half weeks. I drove myself to my appointment with a pillow on my stomach. So there was no pressure on my stomach um, that I could travel. And so I traveled two and a half weeks, did that update two and a half weeks. And three weeks later, I was on stage five and a half weeks after my accident. I chose also not to use the medication that they recommended that I mentioned to you for the surgery. So this was all natural. Of course, they gave me medication when I was in the hospital. So I had some um, Tylenol and probably ibuprofen when I was in the hospital. But outside of that, all the things that I mentioned to you was a 100% natural surgery. So I would probably say it did take, this surgery tends to be something that can be somewhere between six to 12 weeks usually because of the incision. Um, for me, it probably was about eight weeks, especially considering the fact that, um, you know, I, I was recovering, my, I was going to physical therapy and I was recovering, I had to have something in my stomach. I was recovering my stomach and my back at the same time. Um, so of course there, there, was, it, there was a lot for me, but I was, because I do a lot of my work for, from home. I actually traveled for work within five weeks. I was in Nashville. I came home. We were off for July 4th, which was so necessary. I needed to rest. And and I was I was back working after three weeks. I was working remotely in week four. I was traveling for week week five. Rested thankfully week six and um was back traveling in August. So and this is my story. I hope that you watch all of the details. I hope that you share it with anyone that suffers from an accident. Maybe they only need the first 20 minute video that I showed of how to recover from an accident. I hope you share it with anyone that has hormone issues. I hope you share it with anyone that has a surgery related to hormones. I hope you share it with anyone that has any type of abdominal surgery because I thrived through being rear-ended. I thrived through fibroids and I thrive through an abdominal surgery. And I know that is possible for everyone else to do that naturally. And I'm here to give you the details to help you run your food scan and your supplement scan and to help you interpret it and know all the things that you need so that you can thrive through whatever you're going through. Thank you so much for watching this and I'll see you in my next video. Have an amazing day, guys. Bye.